What's up, YouTube? My name is Nicholas, and I have a problem. My computer sounds like a total dipshit spaceship helicopter firing machine guns. I don't even know what it is. And uh, finally, I came to the conclusion that it was my CPU cooler. It's the standardized AMD FX uh, CPU cooler. I don't know. So I ordered another one. Here, it's a package. Uh, let me just open this. So, with my flashy butterfly knife. So, this is the 212 EVO Hyper CPU cooler. The problem I talked about, it's too big. It does not fit in my case. So, uh, there, wait, wait, here it is. This, this is a cooler. Uh, I'm going to try to fit this in my case. It won't fit uh, through the chassis wall. So I'm gonna uh, have to pimp my case. But first to the installment. Before we do any of the installment, I just want to showcase and uh, unbox this shit. I have no idea what's inside here and I do not know how to install. So this will all be pretty interesting for me and I don't think it will be interesting for you. But let's do this very, very quick here uh, so you won't be bored. This shit is inside here. I don't know what this is. Ah. Oh! Empty. Okay, so I guess here's the cooler. Here's what everyone wants to see. And it does not fit in my case by my measurements. And inside here, how do you open this? Here is the mounting bracket. Here's the mount. I don't know. But uh, either way, uh, some of these are going somewhere on my motherboard and I don't know where, so. Let's open the case up. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, I'm not a professional computer user, and I do not use it for more than just games and sometimes editing and stuff, and for fun, so I don't need the fucking Titan X or stuff. This is an old motherfucker, this is an Asus GTX 550, I don't even know. It's an old motherfucker, and this is the thief that I'm changing today. It sounds like a total douchebag, so get out of there. Okay guys, so the CPU cooler is right there. It's installed and it's working perfectly fine. And it's silent as fuck. Uh, but if you look at this a little real quick, you see it doesn't fit as I told you. Uh, now we're just going to deconnect all the wires and I'm going to show you our next project. Okay, so as I mentioned, the cooler is installed and the problem was the side panel. It won't really go on. As you can see here, it's a gap and it's all because of the CPU cooler. So we have to mark it out exactly where it is. I will have to do measurements of that later. And then we will bring it over here and I will take it outside and I'm going to shoot it with my Bayhaven rifle. We're going to use the 22 caliber long rifle ammunition and we're going to shoot it right here uh, can you focus please right here and it will take a couple of shots but i think okay so right now i'm at the official biathlon stadium of ostersund and of sweden here i have two paper dots that i'm going to shoot on and then i'm going to shoot right here on the chassis to get the right cutout and uh, there's the rest of the stadium. So, how it works here is I'm uh, shooting prone from here over to there. It's 50 meters, like standard biathlon. We're going right there, and I have the target or the chassis wall right there. So, I'm shooting from 50 yards, and as I said, it's the 22 caliber bullets, these ones. So, it will take, I estimate, around 100, 200 shots for the whole area to disappear. So let's do this. Okay, so I've now shot about 50 rounds, I think. So let's go there and check it out. Okay, so right now it looks like this. It's a few holes right there, and it has gone straight through, and I think we will head back and shoot some more. 
Okay, so while I'm sitting here refilling my magazines, you might ask yourself, why, Nicholas? Why the hell would you do this? Is this efficient? No, it's not efficient. Could have done it in a better way? Yes, I could have done it in a better way and much faster. But could I have done it in a more enjoyable way? Well, yeah, I could have shot in a Barrett 50 caliber. Now I'm sitting here with these 22 calibers, but I don't own a Barrett 50 caliber, so this is what I have, and this is the most fun way I could come up with to pimp my case. Well, how many people have shot their own case? I have. So that's why I do it. There is better ways, but this is more fun. Okay, so as expected, the results are very, very, very destructive, as you can see right there. But after I've shot 5, 10, 15, 20, and half of that, like, yeah, around 200 rounds shots, this is the result. Uh, it's chaotic, but I will fix it with this. Well, guys, we're done. The results looks a little bit like this. Uh, I think it's a good cutout right here. It's all bullets. And then this is a hole, this is a hole, this, and this. Uh, which shouldn't be there, but they are. I mean, I'm not the greatest shot, but... Well, here it is, and now we're going to put it on the case and see... Okay, everyone, so here is the final results. You can see here, the CPU cooler is right there in the middle of all the bullet holes. And it looks, well... Battle scarred. It looks battle scarred, and I think it looks pretty nice actually. And it's very special, and it's my personal case. So, thank you for watching. This is the final results.